What's up guys, Gary McCready from HVAC Know It All. What we're gonna do today on this training video is show you how to get actual capacity out of the furnace you're working on so you can relay that information to your customer. So this video is being filmed at the Master Vaughn Distribution Center in their training room and they have all kinds of setups here that we can utilize to run these training videos, which is pretty cool. So keep in mind that when we check actual capacity output, the numbers might not be the same as we would see if this unit was installed in a residence with a fully pressurized duct system. This is just to show you that there's a way to do this and show you how to complete this exercise so you can use it to your advantage for diagnostics and showing the customer that there's something wrong with their system. So if we look at the nameplate here, we're working with a York TM9 model. We have a max input of 80,000 BTUs and a minimum input of 52,000 BTUs. On the output side, we have 77,000 and 50,000 respectively. Now, what would be a reason to check the actual capacity output of a furnace? Well, let's say a customer is having some issues with their furnace not heating properly. Well, checking this, going through this exercise will tell you if that furnace is operating correctly. If, for instance, we have a furnace that's supposed to output 60,000 BTUs and it's only outputting 50,000, well, that is a problem. The root cause could be anything from equipment sizing to airflow to gas pressure. There could be many different things involved or just the appliance itself has degraded over time and it's not living up to the performance that it once did when it was first installed. This test here actually requires very little hardware and very little time to get done. So what we're going to do today is utilize two Testo 605i smart probes and use the Testo smart app to pull our numbers and to get our output capacity. Now you can use an app like MeasureQuick that also links to the Testo platform as well. In order to get our actual output capacity of the furnace, we need to enter airflow into the Testo Smart app. The Testo Smart probes we're using can't pick up airflow in cubic feet per minute. They're there to check the air properties as far as temperature, humidity, so on and so forth. There's a couple of different ways we can do this. We can take some test instruments and check for ourselves what our airflow is or we can check our dip switch settings here and then reference the manual right of the furnace and see what our dip switches are set for and I can show you that in the manual just now. So we're in the manual in the CFM chart and if you look under the 080B12 heading we have high heat and low heat CFM. Now if we scroll over and we look at our jumper position and we look at jumper position A and we scroll back we can see that in high heat, we have 1,366 CFM, and in low heat, we have 1,156 CFM. So what we're gonna do is we're going to keep our jumper position in position A, and enter into the app our high heat CFM at 1,366. So the next step here is to take one of our probes, mount one in the return, and one in the supply duct. Here's our probe in the return duct, and try to centralize it as best you can. So what I've done here with the supply probe is not put it in direct line of sight with the heat exchanger, just kind of off to the side, but centered into the supply duct here. So what we want to do at this point is turn on our probes and open up the Testo Smart app. Connect our probes to the app and scroll down to cooling and heating output, and we're going to click on that. Next, what we're going to do is tap on the gear icon at the top right so we can go in and set our CFM as the CFM we discussed earlier, 1,366, and accept configuration. So now with the probes in place and connected to the app and our cubic feet per minute entered manually into the app as well, now we can go ahead and, and get our output. Now, with the furnace on, you can see that supply air temp rising, and you can also see the BTUs per hour rising with it. The room got really hot because it's actually blowing all that heat out right into that specific room and you can see the return air temperature going up as well and you can see all the other air properties you get with this relative humidity you get to see dew point you get to see wet bulb temperature and absolute humidity in grains per cubic feet but look at the BTUs we are creeping up and about to cycle off on the thermostat and our BTUs is pretty much in line with the output on the nameplate so this is pretty cool stuff we can set this up and show our customers exactly what the appliance is giving them and what they paid for. And if it's not giving them what they paid for, then we have to look deeper into the issue, deeper into the problem, and figure out what exactly is going on. 
If you guys learned something today, enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications for more educational HVAC content coming your way. Happy HVACing.